Well, so as a media buyer, if I'm listening to this, is it, I mean, is it true if I'm like, well, man, we, we're spending a ton of money or our clients are spending a ton of money in ads and the ads are performing pretty well. Like the cost per conversion is acceptable, but hearing this, if there's a lot of fraud in there, that means our numbers should be even better and we could improve <clears throat> the campaigns. Let's say if you're buying programmatic, mm -hmm. again, largest channel in, the mar in, in, in digital marketing is programmatic and you're used to a watered down ROI. So you get on, you do your stuff and, and it's working decent. But if we can sit down and uncover that 45% of your traffic is fraudulent and identify exactly where it's coming from so you can stop buying those places, you're gonna spend the same amount of money, just gonna spend it on real people and real people have a, con have a tendency to convert. Yes. So you're gonna see a significant lift in ROI. If you're throwing half your budget out the window to fraudsters, it's never gonna convert. Sure. So a lot of people are just accustomed to getting a watered down ROI. But when they see what we can do for them and, and reduce the fraud and see immediate lift in, in performance, it's a no brainer. And that's what cements our relationship with our client.